Hey guys, welcome back to our Let's Play, Dragon Age Origins. And you might notice something different, like, I got all my stuff back. Yeah, I had to get a mod that fixed it. So that I did get everything that I wanted back. So, yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. You. Unfortunate. No, it is lost to us now. There is no point in returning, Uther. Your former comrades are impressive. They will be difficult to convince. No, Uther. I will fulfill my promise to you. All is not lost yet. Come. We must prepare for battle. That is the architect. He's not evil per se, but he's, um, it's, it's difficult. What he, after he became enlightened, basically, like of like like a dark spawn version of a gray warden basically you know, he was given a mind and what have you because when he was a mindless dark spawn he drank human or he drank a gray warden's blood yeah anyway let's see and that made him like that so Hey, Voltrick. Warden, I... I did warn you about the stone in these parts. Human masons will use whatever's at hand, but for proper walls, you need proper stone. Obviously. Go on. Obviously. Go the nearest on. quarry has some miserable slate nonsense. I need proper granite. The darker the better. I don't suppose, you know, in your travels... Oh. If I... Well, the Winding Wood has some granite. Splendid. But I can't risk my men to darkspawn attacks. You'll have to send soldiers to secure the site. Fine, you'll have your guards. Thank you, Commander. The vigil will not fall, I swear it. I pity the siege crew that tries to breach our walls. Ah. The chip on my shoulder hasn't replaced my head. Whoa! She's talking to me! Voluntarily! Check the sky for flying pigs! <sighs> Forget it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. Humans and their irrepressible urges. Dorkin! You arranged for quite the welcome for us, didn't you, Commander? Not that I mind. <laughs> Gave me a chance to do some proper testing. <laughs> were, you, were you the... You were the, you're the one who blew up those darkspawn, right? Oh, kind of you to notice. I... that was my work. The name is Dworkin Glavenock. Some call me Dworkin the Mad. That don't ruffle my beard, though. I have to be a little mad in my line of research. <laughs> Did you invent these explosives? I developed these particular formulations. But it's the Kunari who perfected the art. That just gets in my craw. Sullen, ashen-skinned giants shouldn't be allowed to outsmart dwarves. So, I've been conducting experiments on lyrium sand and other volatile ingredients. Hmm. Is there anything I can... Is there any way I can help? If you got a mind to, hi. We used up all the explosives on those dark spawn. I can make more, but I'm out of lyrium sand. Lyrium dust is all over the place, but that's too fine. 
Dust's good for fuses, but not the boom I'm looking for. With real lyrium sand, I can set the lads to work. <laughs> You're in luck. I found some lyrium sand. Wonderful. We can start making more explosives. Warden, before you let my brother blow himself to little bitsies, tell him to be careful. Don't listen to Foldrick. I know what I'm about. And how many apprentices have you lost? Three? No, four? We'll know the risks. If we succeed, our names will go down in history. Push your hard. We need those explosives. Aye, Commander. Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> Dworkin's high explosive. I'm gonna put that here and save that for later. His high explosive has basically the same power as, like, the max fireball spell. Psst, psst. Warden. Oh dear, Maker. What is it, Wade? Haran is content to let me craft away in obscurity under dreadful conditions. Never a care for the art, the art of crafting. But you, you're not so dreadfully common. Um. I certainly appreciate fine weapons and armor. Exactly. I want to make wondrous things, things a dwarf and craftsman would appreciate. If you come across any fantastical materials, could you perhaps visit old Wade? Wade, what are you about? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> Remember, fantastical materials. Okay, Wade. Yes, Wade can produce the best. You're back. You need anything? I found an ore deposit. Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. Wade, the commander found a silverite deposit. Armor and weapons could be made with this. I'll just get to it then. No one appreciates. Thank you, Wade. I appreciate it. A great deal, in fact. Yes, Commander? I found this ancient bark in the heart of a living tree. Let me see, let me see! <gasps> oh, amazing! This might be heartwood. Heartwood? I'm not exactly sure. The Dalish elves are so prickly about sharing. If I were allowed to experiment with this, I might be able to make a bow. Or a shield, yes. I can't do that right now, you understand. Here's a list of materials I need. They may be a trifle hard to come by, but you must get them. No. Back. Back. Quest. Okay, uh, oil, cat gut, flawless ruby, and a grandmaster lightning ring. I think silverite is the only metal. Okay. Um. Let's see. Senishal Veril has been looking for you. Please go to the throne room. Are there any messages for me? Just give me a moment. She seems like really nervous about anything. Notice from Mr. Swolsey. Day. Uh, what is it, Seneschal? Hey, Commander. We need to talk. Of course, Ogre. Dreams. You get them. Yeah, this is a Grey Warden thing, huh? Why didn't anyone tell me?
I apologize. I should have warned you. In my dream, I saw one of those bloated, vomit-smeared broodmothers, and it had Hespeth's face. You remember Hespeth, don't you? Bronca was there and whispered, It's time! And Hespeth screamed and a thousand darkspawn burst from her! Ew. And the darkspawn surrounded me and started talking, asking me if I would like lemon in my tea. And could I please teach them to read and write? And, and one of them kept repeating, Where's the baby? And that's when I woke up. Hmm. I dream of Darkspawn, but not like that. <laughs> huh. Well, I do get other dreams about Darkspawn. Mostly shadows and murmuring, but nowhere scary. Thanks for listening, Commander. <laughs> oh. Nathaniel, what do you want? You know, I'm actually not the first How to be a Grey Warden. <laughs> Carrying on the family tradition, then. Following in my grandfather's footsteps, more like. Wow. His name was Padrick Howe. He joined the Order before it returned to Ferelden just after the war. Wow. Never contacted his family again. Just vanished. Now that I know about the joining, I think he died. Hmm. Many good, many good men and women die in the joining. I know that now. Father always said he was a horrible man for abandoning the family to join a pointless cause. I grew up ashamed of my grandfather. But now I see his bravery. That will take some getting used to. Yep. There wasn't a blight pack then. The only shame was your father's. My father often forgot that nobility has another meaning. Mm -hmm. I told you that the bow you gave me was my grandfather's, didn't I? Thank you for that. At any rate, we should probably get back to it. There are darkspawn to kill, I'll bet. Somewhere. Yep. Anders? May I point out that you are all right? My brother's on. <laughs> Go ahead. You're all right. Really, when the Templars came for me, you could have decided I wasn't worth the trouble. But I apparently am worth the trouble. Considering I'm usually a lot of trouble, I should be grateful. I'm glad to have you around. I'm glad to be around. When you recruited me, I thought I was jumping from the frying pan into the fire. But being a warden is almost tolerable. It's a pleasant stroll through the park, with Darkspawn. Coupled with an early death, yes. Nothing's perfect. I thought it was worth mentioning. Thank you, Commander. For everything. <laughs> uh. Seneschal, what is it? What's going on, game? All rise. The Warden Commander and Liege Lord of all Amaranthine enters. I've held it off as long as I could, but you hold the right of high justice on your land. Certain matters of court must be decided. Let's begin. Be seated. The Warden Commander will first hear the matter of the Crown against the sheep herder Alec. On behalf of the Crown, I submit that Alex stole two bushels of grain bound for the garrison in Amaranthine. When confronted by soldiers, he confessed. The punishment for theft from the Crown is death by hanging. What say you, Alec? My sheep were slaughtered by the Darkspawn. My, fam my family was starving. I asked for mercy. Commander, mercy! The poor bugger. Had he stolen from anyone besides the Crown, he'd escape with a flogging. 
Join the army. Your life will be spared, your family fed. Thank you. Thank you. Next is a serious matter. Danella, a soldier of the Vigil, abandoned her post and was caught three leagues away. She is charged with desertion. Even if it were not a time of war, the penalty would be death. I asked the old captain several times to release me from my oath. The Darkspawn are too near my family's farm. They need me, my lord. I'm no coward. You dishonor everyone who serves the Vigil. You think you are alone in having family under threat. The men are afire over this one. Danella is an accomplished scout, but desertion could destroy the army. Danella, bring your family here and fight for us anew. I... I won't forget this, Commander. I'll be back. You have my word. Mercy is a fine thing, but armies are held together by discipline. The next matter is of a civil nature. Lady Liza Pacton is the sovereign of Tern's Down. She... I prefer to speak for myself. The old Earl Rendon Howe made certain promises to me. Some of these he committed to paper. I was given the right to the incomes of the Southern Bridge. And what part did you take in Howe's conspiracies, eh, Liza? To get such a fruitful prize. I am Sir Darren, and it is my land she seeks. Taken from me because I was one of the few nobles who stood against Turn Logan. Commander, Sir Darren is an ally, and Amaranthine has precious few who support you wholeheartedly. If there's any hope of persuading more nobles to your cause, you must be fair-minded. Hmm. It's legal. Darren, I swear I'll make it make this up to you. My father built that bridge. But very well. I place my trust in you. The commander has spoken. The matter is resolved. This session of the Arling's court is over. And Maker, help me. I hope the next one is easier than this. Yeah. <laughs> Those are fairly simple. Okay. Commander. Um, another wishes to undertake the joining. Oh, I hope they fare better than Sir Myrin. I'll make the preparations. From this moment forth, Velana, you are a Grey Warden. Then let it be. Watch out. You might pass out. She yet draws breath, Commander. She will recover. Good. All right. Well, Valena, let's talk. It is unsettling, sleeping under this... this ceiling. I know, but... Uh, trust me. You'll get used to it. All hell, hell. You need anything, Commander? Farewell. Farewell to you. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, as you wish. Yes. Yes. There are party members people don't like, and party members people do like in this game. I'm going to get them all. My favorite warrior? Tie between Ogryn and... Well... For lack of a better term as to what his I'll name is. It's... He goes by the name of... Justice. Hmm? Commander, the men cleared the rubble. You'll have to see what they found for yourself. Show me. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well. Here we are. Look at her. 
I knew it led to the deep roads. I could smell it. It looks safe enough to climb down. Find a way to stop the Darkspawn from coming back this way. Good luck. I wonder where they got the wood. Okay. Team. Next. Ah, uh, I see. Alright, team. Remember, this is the deep roads. This is where we, Grey Wardens... What? What, what? You were staring at me, you man-skirt-wearing freak. Oh, I thought you were being attacked by a wild animal. It was only your beard. You think... Right. You're so clever, don't you? Sparkle fingers. Songs. Christoph's journal. Add the golden offering to the Yeah, if you tried to, I believe if you did anything, like you took the stuff that was here, these dwarves, these golems, would have came to life and attacked you. Not a very good thing. Ah, well, I think I'll... Ooh, deep roads. I think I'll end it here. I will see you uh, guys next time. I'm sorry I didn't talk very much. Anyway, how I got my stuff back was via mods. Yes. I added two mods to this game. I know. I usually like to play games vanilla, but sometimes you have to add a mod in order to make it playable. Sometimes. Yeah. I know. Not very good. I'm not a good person. A terrible human being. I will see you guys next time. Have fun.